What's up everybody, Jeremy here with Touch of Class Creations. Uh, coming to you real quick tonight, we're gonna do an impromptu video. Um, I had a rough month of January, as you guys saw, and I didn't have any videos up. I just put a mask video up last week. So to try and keep up and keep some videos going, um, I may just at time here and there, just kind of do impromptu videos where I'm not really set up and it will probably be a little sloppier than normal, but uh, in order to keep some stuff going, um, that's what I'm going to do. So in any event, uh, thanks everyone for watching. And um, if you enjoy the video, go ahead and click the like button. And uh, if you like more of what I'm doing and want to see more of what I'm doing, uh, subscribe. And as always, uh, if you want to know anytime I release a new video, hit the notifications bell. And uh, so today we just got one of these new things. I've been seeing a lot of people doing this a ton and we've been wanting to do it, me and my wife for a while and just never got around to it. So this week we come across was one of these bad boys at Walmart for $75. I want to say a Hamilton Beach uh, convection oven, basically big, large one is big enough to fit our mugs and stuff in there. So, so we've been wanting to do some of the tumblers. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do my first tumbler tonight. Never did one. Watched a lot of videos on it. Been wanting to do them. So I went on and I measured my tumblers here. Let me show you what we're working with real quick. Uh, so I bought some tumblers off the internet and I will put a link. I think I got these ones from Johto Imaging. Um, these things are hard to come by right now with everybody with COVID going on and everybody in the crafting world now. And uh, so I had to search a bit to find a good price on these. So they were fairly priced. I think they were 50 bucks for five of them. They come with boxes, tops, straws. Um, see here, here's the tumbler. Came with the bag. Nice top and a nice metal straw. I will have links in the video description. So, um, so got these new sublimation tumblers and I went ahead and measured the cup, made a little template, which if you guys do these, the skinny tumblers are square. So you don't need curved templates. You just need a big box square. So measure your cup and make a box. Uh, as always, I will put the templates in the store. These will probably only be 99 cents for the lazy people that just want to buy one instead of making one. But um, so this is the image. That's my wife's name, Jennifer. And we're going to try and make this and put it on the template. So I also, I bought this um, the other day, but I got this. Um, I am doing it with one of these wraps. I see a lot of people online doing them with the tape method and the shrink wrap method. Um, I just went ahead and decided instead of Taking the time and energy, because I have a feeling these things sell a lot. I see a lot of people selling them. So instead of taking the time and energy to have to do the um, shrink wrap, just seems to be a pain in the butt. I have heat guns and all that stuff, but I just don't want to mess with that. And the tape method really seems, it, you know, doing it with the masking tape, that seems to be okay if you're doing one or two cups. But if you're selling them and making them, you know, on a regular basis, that seems to be pretty um uh, time consuming so i'm gonna try it with this once again i've never done these watched some videos online seeing you know kind of how it's done haven't really watched thoroughly into them i have watched a couple though and i'm um, sorry i keep getting distracted the tampa bay buccaneers are playing in the super bowl tomorrow and i'm a big tampa fan i only put on the lightning hat though because i have a tampa bay shirt on down here but i was cold so i had to pull a sweatshirt on because we have the air pumping so then i switch i always have a hat to match the color of my clothes so anyhow um so we're gonna go ahead and try this. I'm gonna go ahead and try and set up this cup. Um, once again, this isn't a super how-to video. I'm just kind of showing uh, sublimation on a skinny tumbler. I will do a more in-depth video probably later this week. Uh, we'll have it out in a week or so. This will be kind of showing you a quick how-to. Uh, I'm not showing you design on a computer. I've already designed and printed the images I showed you. And um, that's it. So we'll go ahead and get it set up here. All right, guys, so I cut the edges off of the image. Um, I did it with one of those roller cutters and a ruler, and my ruler slid on me, so my bottom might not be exactly flat. Uh, it's the first tumbler, and I'm um, just doing it for home purposes, so if it's a little bit off, I'm not worried about it. It's kind of like my trial anyways. I've not. I, I've watched the videos on taping them, and, and I watched the video on how to do the wrap because I ordered the wrap, and it came in, and it had no directions or anything, so the silicone wrap thing. So anyways... Um, clean your tumbler with a microfiber cough, make sure it has no lint on it and clean off the fingerprints and whatnot. Um, so I've done that. Now I'm not going to touch that with my, um, hands anymore. So I'm going to take the paper and just grab the tumbler with the paper. Obviously make sure you have your paper lined up right with your 
top side of your image on the top. Um, you can see I cut the paper to be exactly, exactly to the top of the cup. Actually, it overhangs a little bit and it should over slightly hang on the bottom. Now my wrap will kind of edge that in. So, and I also did my paper with a little bit of an over wrap. Um, once again, it's my first one. I, I figured I would rather have a little extra and, and you know, I, I don't think this image has to match perfectly. It's not gonna match perfectly anyways because of the cheetah print. It's gonna be long on this side and short on this side. So, um, so anyhow, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to try and get this as tight as I can around here. And then as you can see, I'm just gonna pull the paper as tight as possible. And take a piece of heat tape and put the piece of heat tape right in the middle to start. And I'm actually gonna only push it down on the one side to start right here. Okay, that way I can make sure again that I pull it tight. I'm gonna stand up and make sure I'm not over or under my top or bottom that I'm straight. Okay, so pull it tight. And then now uh, you wanna make sure you push the tape down and make sure there's zero bubbles. If you have any bubbles, any air pockets, it'll leave space for the gas when the ink turns to a gas it'll leave space for the gas to escape and that can cause blurring ghosting and all that extra stuff on your images so basically going to continue to do that up and down the whole side um then i'm going to put a piece of heat tape up near the top i'm going to push it on the one side first I think I actually pushed it down on the top side a little bit too. So I'm just going to peel it off. Make sure I'm pushing this down. Pull that as tight up as I can. Let me see what I'm doing here. Sorry, I forgot I'm filming. And I left a little space at the top to fold my tape over. Actually, I'm going to put a better piece on because I didn't leave enough room. But take another piece of heat tape on the bottom. Do it right there. No, I didn't pull this one, so I'm gonna pull that a little tighter. Make sure I have that as tight as I can possibly get it. And take your fingernail, your thumb, or whatever, and make sure seriously that you have no air in your tape at all. From what I gather and what I've seen, once again, I've not done this. Air in there will cause you big problems. So now I'm just gonna finish up. You see, I've got the three pieces on. Now I'm just gonna gap up the middles there. Now I might be doing too much. I don't know with these silicone wraps that I quite have to have it that taped because from what I gather, these things really press against this. So, you know, they really squeeze tight on this. So that should prevent any um, issues that's why if you guys watch the tape method on these videos the tape method and i probably put my tape on funky because i see people grab the tape and pull it all the way down and do it in one motion and i didn't set up my tape to do that so i may have a difficulty more peeling this when i'm done but once again it's my first one uh this i'm hoping just to do as a quick short video I will do a long tutorial video once I've done a couple of these and a little more hang of it, but why not do a first time video? I see a lot of people doing videos of the first time they did stuff, so why not do one for me? You guys watch some of my videos of stuff I do a lot and see I'm okay with some stuff. And oh, see now doing that, I slid my paper up. I almost have this bit on the top, but I know my my silicone wrap's gonna fold that over, so I don't think I'm gonna tape it. I'm just gonna tape it across the bottom. Now, also, what I've read is put a piece of blowout paper. If you're doing the if you're doing the um, the silicone wrap like I am, put a piece of blowout paper over this, which you'll see I'm about to do right now. And you can see on the bottom I have a little tiny bit overhang. 
and on the top I have a little tiny bit overhang so we'll see if that bites me in the butt here I think I'm good I don't have any air bubbles that I can see I just want to be sure I'm a little nervous not having done this these tumblers as you all know if you've done these they're not cheap. So far, the cheapest I could find them is about 10 bucks a pop, um, ordering them in bulk. I have seen them other places. I have seen them maybe as low as $8 or so, but then they're always out of stock. So I don't know. Um, I, I This is my first batch. I just got them to try. So I'll really start looking into pricing and try and find some better pricing, or even if this is a good quality one. Once again, I think I got these from Johto Imaging or Johto Supplies. Um, it was my first order with them, so I don't know. I also ordered uh, some other masks and stuff to try too. But um, let me get some blowout paper and we'll wrap this real quick. Now the blowout paper doesn't really have to be perfect. I'm just gonna kinda, I don't I, I even think I ended up doing a little bit Look short, but that's okay. Look what mama's doing. You'll see here. I'm just gonna cut it real quick about that size. This of course, like I said, if if I did say, or maybe I didn't, this is just to, gonna keep the, um, yeah, and if I'm going to tape it right here in the tape too, so where I'm off a little bit, and even this will just keep my um, sublimation ink from transferring out to the silicone wrap. That way I'm not pressing ink onto my next one. I don't know if I need to pull this as tight. I hope not. I hope that that doesn't matter if the paper has a little bit of room because that's a little bit loose. But once again, I'm assuming that it's just for the purposes of keeping the ink from transferring. So now the mug wrap, uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. So I'm gonna take the tumbler Parchment paper is definitely loose on here. I'm a little off over here. I'm just going to kind of put that in there as extra. So. Now the silicone pad is big if you can see here it overlaps on the top and the bottom and I'll show you when I get it wrapped I'm sorry I'm not once again I just kind of did this video short spur of the moment decided to film it so I'm not super prepared and set up Hence, I'll probably use fast forward a little bit through this slow part because I'm just trying to figure out exactly the best way to set up this wrap. So I know you bring this across and you bring this across. You slide that through there. And then that snaps in. That's it, see? If you look, the mug is wrapped up tight. This is pushing up over the sides. It's not even super duper tight. Like it's, you can see it pulling over the sides, but I'm wondering if my ink can't still escape. I'm starting to get a little worried now. I thought it was going to be, thought it was going to be tight over like this and it's still kind of loose. I don't know if I need to tighten this. This is a new thing. Um, I think I'm going to try it. I'm almost thinking I should tape it some more. I'm afraid that it's going to be all blown out of on the sides. Hmm. Don't know what to do, guys. See what I'm talking about here. I don't know if you can see in there. But I really thought that this was going to be pulling in a little tighter, more like that. Kind of like if you see the shrink wrap videos, how the shrink comes way down around the top. But 
I almost worry that the ink, this isn't that tight, that the ink can kind of blow out. So I don't know guys, I guess this is the first one if it messes up, oh well. We're gonna give it a try. Okay guys, so I am about to preheat the oven. I should have done this before. Uh, it's gonna take a little time, so I'm gonna be sitting here. But real quick, um, my oven uh, doesn't have the digital dials. It's the turn dials like that. So um, I've seen that when you buy the ovens that don't have the digital dials, they might not be super accurate with the temperature. So to get yourself one of these. So I bought this oven for $75 from Walmart. One of these was about five bucks, I think. And um, this oven happens to have a handy little hanging spot right there. So I'm gonna stop the video. For some reason, my phone won't flip while I'm recording video, which is weird. But. So this has, for the rotisserie rack, it has this handy little hook up here. So I'm gonna hang this um, thermometer. Switch hands here. I'm gonna hang this thermometer, try and hang it. From that hook. I can see that from outside. Oh, okay. You know what? I don't even need to hang it. This oven's big enough. I'm just going to set this right down here. And so we're just going to leave it there for now. See if that works okay. That'll tell me my temperature. So I'm going to set this bad boy to about, I'm going to set it to about 380. I'm looking for 360 degrees as my temperature 360 to 370 and i'm going to do it for six minutes turning it once so i'm just going to leave that in there i've got it set to convection i've got it set to about i don't know if that's 360 or what i think i'm going to put it right in the middle so it should be about 375 at least guys just one other thing while i'm waiting for the oven to heat up here get yourself a pair of these if you're going to do this with the ovens um, these are barbecue gloves heat gloves it'll make it a lot easier to reach in the oven you'll see me wearing these as i do the video my wife got these off her like amazon deal things for really cheap but i i don't even know what they cost but in any event very important to have i think you could probably use an oven mitt or whatever but i believe that these will be much more efficient uh you'll be able to work a lot easier and have much better control of everything so just a little fyi while i'm sitting here waiting for the oven to heat up all right guys so it's about 370 365 370 i've got it set right about 375 i'm going to kind of stay here and watch it but i'm going to go ahead and put the mug in Jaden, come here for a minute yeah hold this right here all right i haven't done this yet so i'm having my son hold my camera this is going to lean a little bit and I'm going to set my timer for three minutes and turn it halfway through. Once again, we're set at 375. It's right about 375 on there, a little less because I opened it now. So the temperature dropped. I'm going to turn it up a little bit just to see if it rises and we'll check back in. I'm going to set the timer for three minutes. So I'm halfway through guys, the three minutes and I'm still only at 350 and I got the temperature set to 450. So I'm still gonna rotate my cup here, but, and I'm only gonna turn it about, I guess I'm gonna turn it completely cause I don't want that metal too close to the other side. Ooh, I didn't realize that was a drip tray at the bottom. All right, so now that I keep opening it, it's barely over 350. It's probably gonna drop back down again. Next time, I will make sure to keep it at 400. That way the opening and the closing of the stove, hopefully the temperature will drop, but stay within limits. So let's see, I'm gonna let it go another three minutes, maybe a little bit longer. It's actually gonna be a little longer because I won't be able to set my alarm till I stop recording, but let it cook a little longer than three minutes. It might end up a little light because temperature got lower than 350. Um, let's hope not. Uh, I don't know, I know subs normally 370, 360-ish minimum. So. I guess we're just gonna see how it goes. So let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, guys, so we're back up to about 375. I let it go about 45 seconds, almost a minute over three minutes already. Plus I kept talking after I turned it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out. I'm gonna hand the camera back to my son. So I apologize if we have his first time cameraman. So let's see how this cup came out. 
I've never even taken the silicone wrap off before, so you should be on me as I'm talking, son, and then on the video as I go over here. Make sure you're not too close. To I'm a rookie. Okay, so let's go. You heard it from the rookie. Let me shut this thing off. This is hotter than heck. I don't even know if I should touch that. Let me see how hot this metal is. So this thing is pretty hot. I know I have to lift in on these to release it somehow. This gets through the heat gloves kind of quick too. This is really hot at 400 degrees. These heat gloves warm up pretty fast. Okay, sorry. There we go. Okay, I see colors through here. That looks good. This. There's my blowout paper, came right off nice and easy. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off that thing, but it is hot. You can see everything through here, so hopefully the colors came out well. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the tape to peel it with gloves on. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a pain in my keister. Here we go. Pain in his keister. Oh, look at that, pretty good. The only thing I will say immediately offhand that I don't like is that the black. The only thing I can say is that my wife's name is supposed to be black unless I picked a brown and didn't realize, and that looks very brown. That looks black. That, in, that that black is good. I think my son's getting it. That looks really brown. But other than that, for my first cup, I mean, the edges, it's nice and down. The top, it's all the way up. I don't see any lines. I would say, I mean, the seam, oh, right here. Okay, so I have to tape my seams better. You can definitely see I had probably not, in my wrap, actually looking at my wrap, I think I need to tighten this wrap right here. These, these come with screws. So if you get one of these, they are adjustable. I thought it was kind of tight at first, but then when I put the wrap on, I could see a little gap, like it wasn't pressing hard against here. So I probably didn't have enough pressure in here. I think if I taped it better, that probably would have eliminated that. I was being lazy, trying to do this quick and easy for my first one, hoping I didn't have to tape it, but now I know. But other than that, I think it looks great. I think my wife's gonna be happy. She's over here watching, so. Uh, you see here, not happy with that, but that's a rookie mistake. I can easily overcome that. But other than that, man, I really, I was excited to try these tumblers and I thought I've seen a lot of stuff in my groups of people having problems and wasting and wasting tumblers. But I think, you know, I think that's a hit. And that might be, I might've picked brown instead of black for that color, I don't know. Um, I have heard the blacks are the hardest to get to come out on these, but look at that. I think it's pretty spot on, guys. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, as always, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more of what I got to offer, subscribe. And as always, hit the notifications and be notified anytime that I release new videos. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. Have a good one.